cool. So we get no snazzy here. We actually ordered this cool stencil online because we, we had a bit of a prototype as you saw us when we were marking up our other boxes. And then I thought, well, and I was trolling through the internet. Is that called something? Trolling in the internet? Or is that something else weird? I think trolling something bad. But anyway, I was looking through the internet and there I found these stencil dudes. And these guys actually responded and made me this cool stencil for putting our labels on the box. And it's kind of groovy. So I thought, oh, well, we'll just do this because we're going to put a super on one of the girls down the property when we get there. So I thought, oh, well, we'll just show you me stencil. How exciting is that? Apparently less is more when it comes to spray painting. Ta-da! That's pretty cool, isn't it? You can even see me little nostrils sticking out here. It almost looks like I'm picking my nose. That's a bit of a worry, but anyway. <laughs> and then I just about had myself a heart attack because I thought, oh crap, I put myself on upside down, but it's all good. So I got a little impatient, so you won't actually see the setup for this part. But just down the road, I've got some bees stuck in a house and my neighbours are trying to get them out. And I thought, oh, that'll be cool. So I've gone down and I've cut the end off of an old funnel and I've put the funnel over the air vent that they're stuck in. And so at the minute they're running in and out of the funnel, I thought that they might just get excited and decide to move into my bee box, but that's pretty bloody ambitious, you know? Or, you know, well, I guess I'm thinking positive, but that didn't work. So anyway, so now I'm gonna make a situation so that the filled bees can get out, but they can't get back in so easily. So, and so I've cut the funnel off here. So at the moment, the hole's that big that they're running in and out of. And so I thought, well, they get used to doing that for a start, because obviously, so they're running through the hole, through my bee box, and out into the field. So now I want them to be able to think that they're still doing that, but not get back in so easy. I'll we'll just trim it across here, I reckon. Cool. So I reckon we're just going to just roll that up like that. I'm just having a look at this. I'm thinking that. If I've cut it there and that's a bit smaller, I might just, we might actually make half of this right here in the shed and then we could just throw it on the ground. <laughs> and we could just, we could just take this bit and poke it into the funnel that's actually in the wall already. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? I don't reckon it needs to be too much more than just around. This is my generous cameraman's tape too, by the way. <laughs> anyway, the theory that I'm working on is that we're going to make a little cone here so the girls will be going out to forage and when they come back they won't be able to get back into the hole in the wall they'll have to decide to drop their nectar off in the box that's outside but I don't know whether that's a bloody sensible approach to this project or not but we'll see if a bloke was clever I'll just remember my chefing days you would actually make this silly bit of stuff in a cone in a triangle shape so when you try to make this cone it'd be a lot easier rather than this dense idea that I've come up with. That ought to be a bit of an adventure for them to get them through that lot. They could probably crawl back up there if they really want to, but anyway, we'll give this a go. I reckon they'll get through there. And hopefully they'll go out and can't be stuffed getting back in. <laughs> but anyway. Oh. <laughs> you might never find out. So this is a different problem, we've got bees in the house. So this is a, there's an air vent underneath that box there. So all I've done is I've come here and I've put a funnel over the air vent and a bit of tape and then I've put some dirt around that to seal it all off. And I've got the ladies going in and out of the funnel in, entrance into this box. But this lot are a little bit toey, so I think I'm gonna put my suit on before I actually pull the lid off and see what we're up to. And um, Originally my theory was that they might just decide to move into my box but I don't think that happened because I've been back here a couple of times and they haven't really done that so that's what we're going to do with that little um, bee trap I suppose or bee keeper out or a keeper in or a oh, no. anyway <laughs> we'll see what happens. So we'll just pop the lid off here and see what we can find. You know I might just tuck my boot in. <laughs> They're sounding fairly busy in here. So as you can see, we've got the ladies coming in and out of the funnel, well the head in the funnel, so the funnel's over the air hole, and so that decided to make this their new passageway. Originally of course they had the whole airway to get in and out, or the air vent, 
And so now I'm thinking if I put this on there, they'll get stuck back out in my bee box and then I'll be able to take them away. Or at least some of the ladies anyway. So we're just going to put it on there. So hopefully, in theory, they should run out that little tube and then they'll get more enthusiastic about storing up out here. When we come back in about a week or so, we'll see how we got on. Hopefully, hopefully we get a bit more of a bee box full of bees rather than a wall full of bees.